Hi Chargers, it's Mrs. Butler and I'm here to make some more art with you today. Today we're going to make a picture of wildflowers. Now this sound, may sound very, very difficult, but actually it's super easy. Let me show you what you're going to need. You're going to need paints in whatever colors you would like to use. And I'll tell you what, acrylic paints are going to work the best because washable paints, a lot of them will dry and you won't be able to see them, but acrylics will stay really bright for your picture. Depending on what color background you choose, if you choose a light color like this, you could probably use a green crayon. But if you choose a color like black or brown, a really or navy blue, a dark color, you're going to need to use oil pastels and you're going to want to have whether it's oil pastels or crayons two different shades of green these are for the stems on the flowers you're also going to want to have some paper towels or wipes and you're also going to need a handy dandy trash can with a bag in it so that you can put your paper towels straight in the trash when you get paint on them all right i'm ready are you guys ready Okay, here we go. For our wildflower picture, I'm gonna start with my blue piece of paper. And what you're gonna do first is you're gonna take one of your green crayons or oil pastels, and you're just gonna draw some lines. You don't wanna go all the way to the top. Okay, so do some in both colors, all different lengths. Does that look like wildflowers yet? I don't think so. Now is the fun part where you get to be creative, okay? So I'm just gonna start with one color. I think I'm gonna start with pink, okay? And here I go, but you choose whatever color you want. You're gonna dip your finger in, dip your finger in, and then you're just gonna make a dot at the top of each one of the stems. Now remember, some of them are not very tall, so make sure you get the low ones too. All right, I'm gonna stop with the pink for now. Wipe my finger off, and now I think I wanna try orange. I like orange and pink together with this color blue. So let's see how it ends up turning out. Is it starting to look like a field of flowers? What do you think? How is yours looking? All right, now I'm going to stop with orange. Now I think I might try yellow. Sorry, it just got a little bit loud. I'm in my front yard. And a neighbor just drove by. He's got a really loud car. He's a teenager. So here we go. Oh, is it starting to look pretty? Are you getting the ones down low also? You don't want to miss any stems. You've got to look real carefully. So now I'm done with yellow. Hmm. I think I might try just a couple of this color blue. Let's see how they look in here. Throw it in. Make sure you're getting all your stems. And if you feel like you need to go back and add some more stems, which I think I'm going to, I'm going to add some more down low because I feel like I need some flowers down low. Kind of doing this picture upside down so I don't really know how it looks. I'm gonna be just as surprised as you all at the end. Hmm. I think I'm gonna go back and add some more pink. That's the great thing is if you feel like all of a sudden you need another color you could just go back and add it. Just because you stop using it doesn't mean you can't use it again. It's looking to me like I've gotten all of my stems. So I think 
my picture is done. Now, do you remember what all artists do with their pictures? They sign their name somewhere on it. So make sure you put your name somewhere on there. You may have to wait until it dries. But this is my picture of wildflowers that I created with you. I would like to show you some other ones that I made too, in case you feel like making some more. And this one. have this one. And I really kind of like this one. I ended up using gold paint for this one. This one I think turned out really pretty. Now, I have a couple minutes left. So I thought we could make one more really, really tiny one with some different colors. So let me scoot it back down. So the smaller the paper, the less you have to fill up. And if you have a really big piece of paper and you don't cover all of it, you can always trim it. Let's see, what colors am I gonna do on this one? Another paper towel. And for all of the art that I'm doing, I'm just using things that I have at home. So I'm hoping you have some of these things at your house. Whew, that one's done. That was so quick. So here, oh, I got to turn it around and write my name. I'm putting SB because those are my initials because every artist signs their work. So here is another picture of wildflowers. You know who I would bet love to get some wildflowers in the mail? Maybe your grandparents. These are great for you to make because they're so easy and you can mail them to your grandparents. I hope you guys have had fun. Be looking for more art videos, okay? Because I'm going to be posting more throughout the summer. Also, I would love to see how your wildflower pictures turned out. You can always email me pictures at sbutler at heritagehall.com. Have a great day. I hope you're having a great summer. I'll see you soon.